A couple of weeks ago, we told you about a UNC student who was packing up to go to Sudan. Now he's back, and he sat down with Carolina Week's Adam Rue to chat about some things that surprised him. Chris Music still has a suitcase and dirty laundry on his floor, and he needs to catch up with schoolwork after he spent nine days in Sudan as part of a church mission project. So we went to go see um, the, the buildings that already exist and the the people who work there and who direct that, and then also the new land that we're going to buy. The land is for a women's center, school, and other projects, and his church is committing $2 million to the mission. Music says his group attracted a lot of attention. When they found out you were American, that just um, piqued their interest in you even more. They are wondering why you were there. Music and other church members spent their entire time in Sudan around the capital city of Khartoum, well away from the violence that plagues the southern region of Darfur. And I, I don't think I felt um, in danger at any point of the trip. Because he felt safe, Music says he was able to notice the differences and similarities between us and the Sudanese. Yeah, I think everyone there I saw had a cell phone, uh, <laughs> whether they had a, a car and lived in a house or had a mule and lived in the mud huts, they all carried cell phones. And But there are some parts of American life that haven't made it to Sudan, and Music says he's glad to have them back. Well, real toilets were nice to get back to, and uh, some good American food. Music did bring back his share of souvenirs, and a desire to go back to Sudan if he gets the chance. In Chapel Hill, I'm Adam Rue, Carolina Week. Music says that if that chance does come along, he'll want to stay in Sudan for a much longer period of time. One student group is trying to make UNC a more global campus. Students Working Internationally to Nurture Growth, or SWING, is building a global networking database for Carolina students and alums. UNC has the highest study abroad rate of any public university, and now these students can be resources for each other. SWING helps students study, work, research, or volunteer abroad. The group is planning a Summer Opportunities event for mid-February. If you're planning to travel abroad, you're going to need a passport, but be aware of some new rules. The Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative will now require U.S. citizens to have a passport when they re-enter the country from Mexico, Canada, South America, the Caribbean, and Bermuda. Passport applications typically take four to six weeks to process, so if you're planning to travel for spring break, apply now. You can apply at the Chapel Hill Post Office. Bring two passport-sized photos, a certified copy of your birth certificate, a valid photo ID, and the $60 processing fee. Marijuana isn't the only plant students are smoking to get high. A legal drug called salvia also appeals to thrill seekers. The psychotropic plant provides a different kind of high with prominent side effects. The U.S. Department of Justice says those effects include hallucinations and overlapping realities. UNC sophomore Philip Emanuel explains just how strong salvia can be. Um, the, the best comparison I can make is to Chronicles of Narnia. You walk in the wardrobe, you grow old, you come out, and then you're a kid again. Like, imagine that happening to you from smoking salvia. Many states have proposed legislation to outlaw salvia, but the drug remains legal in every state except Louisiana. There are certain precautions we all take when it gets cold outside, but here's one you wouldn't expect. Bundle up your laptop just to keep it running. Laptops are everywhere on UNC's campus, even outside in students' cars. But did you know temperatures below 50 degrees can damage your computer? Information Technology Services says if you leave your laptop in the cold, be sure it's at room temperature and dry before you turn it on. College students usually have to hunt for ways to save money, but now a new website gives us an easy way to find deals. Tardeals.com features daily specials and coupons for Chapel Hill restaurants and bars. Students can print the coupons straight from the website. With a coupon, this Cosmic Cantina Burrito will cost you $5 instead of 6 Tardeals.com also provides information about the featured restaurants. When you ask little girls what they want to be when they grow up, they might say a princess, an astronaut, or maybe even Hillary Duff. The UNC Association of Nursing students, however, hopes some will say a nurse. The ANS invited more than 70 local Girl Scouts to participate in its first Tar Heel Explorations Day. Here's the favorite interactive exhibit. Stan the Man is a patient simulator nursing students use to learn what to do in emergencies. Event coordinator Kelly Crockett says there's an immediate payoff for the Scouts. 
And at the end of the day, if all the girls complete all the rotations, they'll be getting their badges. So they're all pretty excited about that. I think that's the highlight of the day. The ANS hopes to have more events like Tar Heel Explorations Day in the future to give young people a better idea of what nursing is like. Well, we now welcome our weathercaster, Mallory Nichols. Hi, Mallory. Hi. How's it going, Mallory? So I have to say, it was really hard for me to get out of bed this morning. It was so cold outside. Is it going to last all week? It is. They, I don't see much of a break in the cold temperatures as far as the rest of the week is concerned. Signs of winter cold are popping up everywhere. Coming up, a change in temperatures that will be anything but steamy and might even blow you away.